today I'm going to give you a tour of aesthetic and functional notion fitness planner and workout tracker setup. Whether you're tracking your workouts, managing your weight loss journey, this template is designed to help you stay organized and motivated. Let's start with the homepage of this Notion Fitness Planner. When you first open the template, you'll land right here on the homepage. This is the center hub where all the key sections are neatly organized. It's designed to be simple, clean, and user-friendly, with everything just a click away. Each section on the homepage is linked to a subpage, so any updates you make will automatically sync across the whole template keeping everything organized seamlessly. You can easily jump into any specific section through the menu at the top. Now let's check out the first section. Let's head over to the fitness planner section. This is where all your fitness plans, routines, and tracking come together in one place. It's designed to give you an overview of your fitness journey, help you stay organized, and make it easy to follow your plan. First, let's take a look at the fitness program section. Here you can plan your weekly fitness program in detail. You can select the time and the type of activity, whether it's a workout, wellness routine, or a rest day. Choose a category from the list, add specific activities, and even set the intensity level for each one. Planning your fitness in advance is key to staying on track and answering that you meet your goals. When you have a plan in place, you're more likely to stick to it and make fitness a consistent part of your routine. Further down, you can also schedule workout classes like yoga or pilates or cardio. Just click the new button in Notion, you can easily add emojis by tapping the colon symbol, followed by the keyword, then selecting the emoji. From here, add the time for your reminder. Choose a category and fill in details like duration, location, and whether the class is booked or completed. Next, we have the exercise library. This section helps you manage and organize your workouts and exercise routines. You can view different database options such as workouts under 30 minutes or by instructor. To add a new workout to your library, click the new button and fill in the details like the instructor's name, workout duration, and even a URL or YouTube link. You can embed YouTube videos directly into the page for easy access. The same steps apply for the exercise library. Click New, fill in the relevant information, and you'll have a well-organized database of exercises to choose from whenever you need inspiration. Now let's head over to the fitness tracker. This is where you log your daily workouts and fitness activities, helping you stay consistent and disciplined. To start tracking, click the new button, then select the category of your workout, the type of activity, and where it took place whether at the gym, home, or outdoors. For the duration, enter the time in minutes. So if you worked out for one hour, just enter 60. You'll do the same for calories burned, enter the total amount. You can also add more detailed notes about the specific activities you did that day. Below the section, you'll find a list of fitness categories that you can customize. You can edit delete or add new categories based on your workout types. The total activities logged will be calculated automatically from your fitness tracker entries. Now let's move on to the next section. Next up is the challenges and progress section, which consists of subpages for fitness challenges, fitness goals, and tracking body progress. Let's take a closer look at each one. First, we have the fitness challenge section where you can create and track your fitness challenges. Simply click the new button to start a challenge, select a category, you can pick more than one, and choose the difficulty level. You will also input the total number of days for the challenge, and the days completed will be automatically calculated based on the entries in your challenge tracker below. This gives you a day-by-day -day record from start to finish. Plus, there's a progress tracker to monitor how close you are to completing the challenge, along with a reminder of how many days you have left. Tracking your challenges this way keeps you accountable and motivated. It breaks the goal down into manageable steps and gives you a clear sense of accomplishment as you see progress grow day by day. 
Next is the fitness goals section, which serves a different purpose than fitness challenges. While challenges focus on sorts and specific tasks, like a 30-day workout challenge, fitness goals are broader, long-term achievements you're working towards. For example, a fitness goal could be run a marathon or lose 10 pounds, whereas a challenge could be something you do to help reach that goal. You can link your fitness goals to your challenges to keep everything connected and focused. There's also a milestone section to help keep you on track. To add new milestones, click Add a Group, choose your goal, and list out the key milestone you want to achieve. Check off each milestone as you read it, keeping you motivated and allowing you to celebrate small wins along the way. Finally, the Body Progress section allows you to track your physical changes on a weekly or monthly basis. You can record body measurements such as waist, chest, arms, legs, and current weight. You also have the option to add images to visually document your progress over time. This is especially useful if you're on a weight loss or muscle building journey as it gives you a clear, measurable way to see your transformation. To track these changes can be incredibly motivating and helps you stay focused on your fitness goals. Let's continue to the next section. An important part of your fitness journey is not just working out, but also building healthy habits and because eating well is essential for keeping your body energized and healthy, tracking your habits and planning your nutrition play key roles in staying consistent and making long-term progress. Let's dive into these sections. Start by logging your daily habits in the habit tracker. This helps you visualize your consistency over time and identify areas where you might need improvement. You can easily customize the tracker by clicking the property to rename it to your specific habit. If you want to add or remove a habit, simply duplicate one of the existing properties or delete it as needed. When adding a new habit, make sure to update the total habit count. By default, it's set to 5, but you can change this in the template settings by clicking the drop down a row and adjusting it to the correct number of habits. Next, you'll need to update the progress formula to reflect your new habit. Just duplicate the existing formula, add a plus sign, and paste the formula. Change the property for your new habit property. At the bottom, you'll see both monthly and yearly habit overviews. If you add a new habit, remember to update these overviews as well. Simply duplicate the habit label and progress bar, then change the tags. For the monthly habit progress, change the habit property to your new property in this filter and inside this map function. Show properties in gallery view. Repeat the process for the yearly habit progress. The meal planner section is where you can organize your weekly meals to ensure balance and nutrition during your fitness journey. Click on the new week button to start playing for the week ahead. Hover over the card and click the pen icon to begin editing. You can add the date and start planning its meal for the day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. To add a new line, break in Notion Gallery, press Shift plus return. In addition to planning meals, there's a space to manage your favorite recipes. You can add recipe details including the type of meal, any dietary restriction, prep and cook time, and even embed YouTube videos for instructions. It's an all-in-one place to keep your nutrition on track. Finally, the fitness equipment section helps you keep track of all your gear, including fitness outfits. You can create a list of what you own or what's on your wish list. Once you've purchased an item, simply click this purchase button. In the wardrobe section, you can also track the condition of your outfits, whether they're clean or in the laundry, and mark your favorites. Now let me show you some bonus features to add even more functionality to this Notion Fitness Planner. First, we have the chart feature. This gives you a visual breakdown of your daily fitness tracker by category, making it easy to see how often you work out in its fitness category. It's a great way to get a quick snapshot of your activity at a glance. 
Next is the summary feature and is one of my favorites. This section provides a quick overview of your fitness stats, like how often you worked out this week, total hours, calories burned, your fitness streak, challenge progress, and more. It's perfect for reflecting on your fitness journey or setting new goals. Finally, there's the quick add feature. This is a real time saver, allowing you to quickly log a new fitness activity, challenge, goal, workout class, or body progress. Just hit the quick add button, fill in the essentials, and you're good to go. Perfect for when you're short on time or using a mobile device. That's it for the Notion Fitness Planner and Workout Tracker Tour. I hope this gives you some motivation to stay organized and achieve your fitness goals. The Notion template is linked in the description below, so feel free to check it out.